We are live in five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Take Blast off. off. We're off to the moon. Blast off. Take off. It'd be blast off. It'd be take Five, off. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. What's the difference? Blast off, take off. Well, it's blast off if it's a rocket ship, which is what you but guys... It's still taking off. If we fucking start Sorry. like this, mate, just because you want to be difficult. I'm actually not being difficult. It's just it would still work. No, because bl- the, the, the term is blast off. That's you, the term. Would you go to space? <laughs> what, would I... <laughs> Become really, really, really small and walk into one of your ears. Well, if I wanted to see a whole heap of fucking space, that'd be the best way to do it. That's <laughs> a bit wrecked. <laughs> wrecked. <laughs> no, no, come on. You're okay, buddy. Would I go to space? Absolutely. No, but those people who say, I'm not going on this spaceship to space, they, it's like they don't come back. It's which, like you're going one? a one way. You know how these people who like yeah, have paid like Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong. Mil- no, one no, way. the ones where it's like we're taking this trial sh- spaceship to space. No, no, and no. And it's like you pay thousands, hundreds of millions of dollars to go, but are you coming back? See, that's you're dead right, Lou. It's you, like you've the, stumbled. You've, you've you mentioned having a family and going. <clears> I'm off to space. See, see you maybe. See you might not. Imagine, imagine saying goodbye to your family, walking out, and jumping in the car, mate. Oh, well, you know, don't say car that. accidents happen, but you'd like. I know, Ca- but cardiac arrests happen. Yeah, but it's it's. If you live you've your made life, it very morbid. No, it's no, a bit I haven't. Different going to space. You're talking about someone going, leaving his family and dying. What the fuck did I do that was different? Well, I just feel like you took it at an angle that I wasn't <laughs> prepared for. My point was, which is why we're so good at this because it's off the cuff. <laughs> My point was, if you lived your life in that sort of fear, like nothing would ever, you'd never do anything. You'd be the bubble boy. You live in a big bubble. I Walking can't around do. In a, in a butt well. It's called Ross you, Bay. No, no, you used to. And it's called lard. <laughs> <laughs> now, now listen up. Yeah. Now, now you listen up here. Yes. We've, we've, we've decided to save it for the air. Yes, well, I drove us here in Alfonso. This fucked me off in the car. <laughs> it wasn't my driving. You were quite impressed with it. I actually was pretty impressed with your driving, but that's come, it's because it's come from a real low base of The photographic memory I got us here. No maps. No Google Maps. Nothing. I got us here the entire way. Thank you, Don't Dior. clap her, Dior. Dior's clapping. That is clap her th- her behaviour. I've been driving her here for the last two years, twice a fucking hey, week. Sometimes three times I a week. I don't watch the road. I entertain you. You do not entertain I me. I entertain let's, let's get on that the drive. Very clear. So she was like... It's crazy how I just like kind of know where to go. I'm like, yeah, we've been doing <laughs> this nonstop <laughs> for so long. I disagree. I would be, and also, let's not give you too many props because you, you'd, she'd go like this. We'd be driving, she goes, so I'm just going to turn right here. And then like chook eye me. She'd chook, and I'd be like, and I'd just stay quiet. She'd go, right here, right. <laughs> I get straight, buddy. I know, just testing you. Just <laughs> testing you. <laughs> Trying to subtly just didn't know where to go. <laughs> I literally, I got us here from my photographic memory. Yeah. There was one potential was a, wrong There there was a few. But I was pretty, your driving's all right. Thanks. Alfonso. You do drive a bit close to people sometimes, but oh, I didn't want to give On which you- side, yours or mine? Like close on your side or my side? No, like as in the cars in front oh, of us. Oh, I got a f- heavy foot on the pedal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're like... Me. <laughs> you're a bit close to a motorcycle, I just, but I didn't want to stress you out. I was like, let's just see it. Well, if she also, or, I'm not used corrects. to it, Gianni. You'd sort of, you know, have to put your foot quite flat. Whereas Alfonso being newer, he's sort of just got like less of a heavy pedal. Less of a grunt. I know what you mean, though. Yeah. It's the, look, I'll be honest with you. Same with mine. Well, it's it's a delayed fucking acceleration and it pisses me off. It's the V dubs. Apparently, you can get some. My mate Fatty was telling me you get some for like three hundred bucks. You just plug in and it like fixes the problem. So, oh, yeah. but I, is it yeah. that much of an issue for you? Fuck it. But anyway, how do we come? How do we come to this thing about happy days? We were listening to a song. Oh no! Someone goes. Um, Oh, I love the name. No, we weren't. Oh. Someone goes, love the name Alfonso. It's like Fonzie, Fonz. I go, oh, yeah, the Fonz. Happy days. And you go, happy fate. And I go, what? You go, happy, happy fate. 
what? And I go, not happy feet, happy days, the Fonz. You go, what's happy days? And I go, delude, don't. Don't. What's fucking happy days? Still don't know. Can I guess? Yes. Is it a song from a famous band? (laughs) Well, no. Is it a TV show? There we go. Is it on Seinfeld? (laughs) 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 What the fuck? Oh, is it its own TV show? You, you on it, somehow you outdo yourself. (laughs) Is it on Seinfeld? Happy Days, is it old? Yeah. The Fonz. Hey, the Fonz. So someone who is like... I'm this thinking is, of MASH. The, the, no, no, you're not. Oh, you know the one, the army one? Yeah, I do know everyone knows MASH. But you're not thinking of MASH because you just said, is it Seinfeld? Which makes no fucking sense. Yeah. Happy days. Well, my brain, I just saw the cover of MASH where it's like, MASH, and it's like four faces. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the fact that you've decided to go, like somehow you've gone through life without like... The Fonz is sort of like a cultural icon. He's in Is it Australian? No. It's oh. American. Ron Howard, the now acclaimed director, he starred in it. Ron Howard, fucking what's Fonz's yeah. name in real life? Henry, Henry Winkler. Winkler, yeah. Henry Winkler. It's like an old school, the Fonz was like, hey, the could, Fonz. Could you get up a photo of yeah. it, Dior? Maybe I'll recognise from my photographic yeah. memory. It's like, do you know the show Cheers? Yeah. Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that Cheers? Oh, that was convincing. It wasn't, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) You know, like when you're in a combo and someone's like, says something and you've got no idea what they say and you're like, (laughs) yeah. yeah, Dude, have I spun you that yarn about, um, I have, haven't I, about the Scottish? The phone's on loud. Um, The Scottish guy? I couldn't understand him. The doctor? Have I spun this yarn? Feels familiar. Feels warm. Okay. If we're playing Twister, it feels like we're getting close. We're to each other? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> happy oh, days. Happy days. Okay, Dior's just brought it up on the screen for me. You never seen this? Is that Mr. Bean in the middle? <laughs> Looks like him. It actually does because it's yeah. blurred. Guys, I'm going to be really honest with you here. Doesn't ring a bell. And you've never seen the Fonz. Hey, Show me the, the Fonz. Fonz. The Fonz, the yes. one with the black. Yeah, this dude. Oh, he looks the... like um, Johnny Travolta. No, is that his name? Well, look. Y- look. John Travolta. Yeah, okay. Uh, what's Greece. his name on Greece? Oh, hang on. No, Danny Travolta. No. Oh, fuck. Um, oh, hang on. No, no, no. Wait, what is it? No one tell me. Fuck. Why well, have I had a mind blank? Oh, why? Fuck Danny. Yeah, what for the fucking the 70th one today? What is, okay, what's his last name? Danny Travolta. Oh, so I was probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, what's his name from Greece? Like the actor or the character? The Danny, character. the character. Danny fucking... Danny Zuko? Ah, Zuko. Jackpot. Um, yeah, nah. Ha- well, I'll do my research and I'll watch a Happy, Happy Days episode and report back to you guys. No, no, you won't. We, know, we all know you won't do that. But I that, will if just, you want me to. It just blew my mind that you had never been exposed to any of that, any Happy Days stuff. Wait, it looks like it's from the 70s. Yeah, but it had such an impact. I was born in the 90s. The fo- but it's I was born in the 80s. 80s the the 80s. 80s. But, I mean, the, culturally, the impact, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're in that Weezer music video. I know you're a big Weezer I'm just girl. a teenage dirtbag. That's Waitus. <laughs> <laughs> it's unreal. It's a fucking Bro, shit show. Just for a clip, What's can happening? we just please just cut together everything she's got wrong so far? In the first, how long? We, fucking five minutes, dude. We need a little compilation. You can see I misheard Dior. No, 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 you Weezers didn't. and Weezer. I can see how similar. you got confused. There. Of course, yeah. it's easy to get confused, but I mean, it's just God. been one after another. Ask me something I do know to redeem myself. Well, oh, fuck, I don't know if there's much we get. One plus one, actually, math's not a strong point. Um, what's uh, what's belliage? Great question, Jarge. Uh, it's a it's a type of hair colour, so you've often got darker on the top, yep. and then it um, fades into a lighter colour, often uh, sunny golden tones for the summer. Okay. For the summertime is when most people would do it. Now it feels like we're sitting with a genius. Thanks. That's a pleasure. Thanks so much. Now, I, don't, I, I do want to go back. I don't know if I've spun the yarn before about the, the Scottish... Scottish Doctor. Feeling crook. Used to get these bad heart pains. Anyway, I was getting real bad. I was over in Scotland. Was it heartbreak? <laughs> Not. I've got a... Okay. I've got an issue with my heart, so we shouldn't be joking about that. Drop it any second sort of stuff. So okay. I could die on this podcast. Well,
was the same as when you mock me about my brain. So correct. Really, what should we correct? We're a couple of we're a couple of real catches. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, fucked up heart. Bloody gets real bad over there. I was on an exchange over there at this school. Anyway, the heart's like it. Every time it, I would breathe in, it felt like someone was putting a knife through my heart. Like it was like, <gasps> like fucked. You Getting wouldn't real. know what a knife feels like, but it's what you'd imagine. Yeah, thanks. Thank you for the input. What a tremendous input. It's, it's actually true. You know <laughs> yeah, what? Like, I'm with you. It's like being like, oh, this is so painful. It feels like I've been shot. Well, you, you don't know what it feels like to be shot. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Doth, doth continue. D- doth continue. Getting real bad. I go, she goes, we've got to take him to the bloody nurse. I go, you beauty, thanks. That'd be good. They take me to the nurse. The nurse is a six foot five, 140 kilo Scottish man. Not what I was expecting for a school nurse. Call me a sexist pig. Just yeah, not what I expected. Sexist pig. Just not what I expected. Get in there. Anyway, he has the most thick Scottish fucking accent of all time. I'm getting there and he's like, it's sort of getting a bit better. And he's like, we just got to fill out the chart and whatever. He's like, um, Mim. I'm like, Jack Archdale. He's like, hey. He's like, hey, uh, me, me, yeah, bath. And I was like, sorry? And he goes, yeah, bath. <coughs> and I'm like, mate, I'm so sorry. I can't understand. He's like, yeah, bath, yeah, bath. And I'm like, mate, I... I do, I'm so sorry, mate. I, can, I cannot understand what he's saying. He's like, Dabalf! And I go, Yep. And he goes, No! Turns the form around. He's like, Date of birth. So he's going, Get of birth. Date of birth. And he wanted my date of birth. <laughs> and so imagine if I go to you, ask me what my date of birth is. What's your date of birth? Yeah. <laughs> Just so fucking out but there. But it gets too awkward, like, if you have to ask uh, d- too many times. Dude. Like, I feel like my hearing's getting bad, and I'll go, what? And then someone will say it again, and I could probably go, what? Well, again? you should never say what, should you? You should always say pardon. Okay, I say pardon. M- m- monsieur. Pardon, mesdemoiselle. <laughs> pardon, je m'appelle. Pardon, bicht. Um, And then I feel like the third time you can't say it. You've just got to go, oh, yeah, 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 okay. But it depend it depends on who you're with. You're with your good mates. If you go, I can't it, speak fucking clearly. What are you saying? If I did it to you three times, you get so annoyed. With, with, if if what? If I had, if I, had, I couldn't hear something and had to ask you three times. Yeah, but I would say, oi, fucking, oi, listen. But That's I what would I do. be listening. It's just I couldn't hear properly. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Cool shoes. Thanks. Let's talk about the top you're wearing. Oi, actually, this top is fucking legit, dude. Jarch is wearing a top that says how to pick up chicks. Can they see And it's stick deal? figures picking up like actual like little baby chickens, like chicks. Now, this is the response that I wanted. Because the two blokes in here, Tubbs Criminal. and Dior, were like, it's good stuff. Yeah. Because it's so not funny that it's funny. Yeah, well, and I told and you. you were just like, this is criminal, do not wear it that. It is criminal. It, you were wearing it to the stadium yesterday, and then I told I went, Jarch in the car that I used to have a T-shirt when I was like 13 or something, which I don't know why the fuck I had it, from the shop in New Zealand called JJ's, and it was a man, and he had three legs. So, you know. Yeah. Yes, you yeah. understand? We understand Okay, it. and the word was, the, t- the wording was gifted. I'm going to sue them. For using my likeness without my permission. That's fucking bullshit. No, honestly, Lou. You've been waiting to say it since I told you that story in the car. No, I'm just like this. Quick. In the sack. (laughs) (laughs) It's honestly hilarious that you... That shirt was not designed for you. I know. I don't know why I wore... I think I wore it out one day as well. Gifted. I don't know why. Hey, boys, you've got a huge cock. (laughs) Hey everyone, <laughs> check out my massive schlong. You can see it on my t-shirt. Where'd JJ's go? That used to be a fucking ripper. Well, they ripper. probably went under, Judge. It was a ripper, JJ's. It you was know? when you were young. A teenager. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Doth is young, but now. JJ's. Let's have a look here. Dior's just doing a quick Google. For- oh, it's still bloody open. They've rebranded. Would you look at that? They've definitely rebranded. Still called JJ's. It's part of the Just Group. There's 172 stores in Australia. Jesus. What the fuck? 
JJ's still kicking like a mule. It looks like from that map that there's one in. There's fucking one move in down fucking. Down to your Penrith. No. <laughs> Homebush. Yeah. Carabamata. Carabamata? Yeah, Carabamata. Yeah, Carabamata. Burwood. Burr. It's cold in the wood. <laughs> Uh, Should we talk about the hot laps? Last time we were here, we hadn't spoken about the hot laps because we hadn't we hadn't done the hot laps yet. You, I cannot. So shout out to fucking uh, Amazon uh, Prime Video, uh, Prime Video and Lab Bible. It was the funnest day ever. So we had two really great days with them. One where we did a recreation of Jack Reacher. We did all the stunt, stunt with all the stunt people, and then bloody the hot laps. Now, Lou had prefaced, honestly, since they had pitched this to us, I don't know how many fucking times I had to hear her say, no, Judge, it's like, I'm not being like, just like a girl about this. Like, I'm not just being like, oh, like, I'm scared. Of like, I'm actually terrified. You said that 350 million. Well, I had to make sure, because otherwise people think it's one of those things where it's we just got like, it. yeah, haha, <laughs> like, yeah, but she'll it, be sweet. Well, kind of, but it kind of was, and yeah, kind of was sweet, weren't you? Well, he was going, uh, he didn't go any slower for me. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. He told me he didn't. Of course he told he, you that. Judge, he said he would have gone 10 to 15 k slower than you. Lou, you scared was, the crew and him so much that he was like, because he, we were discussing what to do with you. It was so fucking fast. Don't you sit there in I that Dothith chair it was and fast. tell me that it wasn't fast. Because I didn't open my eyes one second and I screamed. So there. how the fuck would you know? Because I can feel. Yeah, nice, man. You're, unlike, you're, you're an unlike empath. Unlike you, you, you you're an empath. You unempathetic <laughs> fuck. I'm actually an empath. I, I could feel how fast it was. I didn't open my eyes once. He'd be going around the corners and there was this tiny little handle. Like it was barely even a handle. There was nothing to hold on to. So I just had my hand like this going. Dude, it was so fucking funny. We were watching the GoPro footage poster and Lou has like this little <laughs> crab claw what? holding onto this non-handle on the door. This crab claw. And she's just. Because oh, basically the thing was we had to read each other questions while under pressure. So Lou would read me questions while we were in the fucking car and this boy, this bloke was drilling it, Harry. He was drilling it. It was so fast. So we got up to, I think, 160, 170. Yeah. Uh, we're out at bloody... Um, but um, not just round a circle race course. No, no. It was like a, a like windy, windy like <coughs> race track. It was track. quite a short, like quite a short race track out at, where was it called? Lubbenham or some shit. Luddenham. Luddenham. Luddenham yeah. race course. Yeah. And so, you know, when you're going, like, because I thought, fuck, we must have been going 250 kilometres an hour. Because it's so windy. Because it's so windy. You're going around these corners at like one fucking 40 and it, it it was in a Lotus. It had some grunt. And fucking, so we had to ask each other questions. We had it. We were mic'd up asking questions. So like about the Amazon Prime shows, what does fucking Jack Reacher bloody do whatever, blah, blah, blah. And it's fucking, it's a pretty wild old experience. Uh, the whole thing was a blur. And the funniest thing was, <laughs> couldn't even I'm trying to questions. ask, like I was, pre I love that sort of shit. So I was mm. actually having the time of my life. Lou was the opposite. So I'd be asking her questions and I'm not, I could not stop laughing because I could hear the, all I could hear was the most high pitched scream this squeal coming from it just didn't stop and then he'd like slow down a little bit and you're like will you ask me now and i'd be like what in what does jack reacher eat in the diner at the end of series one and you're like peach <laughs> just scream like he said that afterwards he said that he'd sort of noticed that i'd, I'd stop squealing for a bit because it so it'd slow down and then He'd notice that I'd stop squealing, so then he'd be like, oh, "Yeah, so he'd drill it. Speed up. He'd drill it. Oh, I just because the, the, you're you're strapped in so tight, like you fully, like you can't even like move. It's not like you're going like that. No. Nah. But there was nothing to hold on to, so just this little claw. And I think I had my hand like up by my chest with this little claw trying to hold on. Oh yeah, mate, it was fucking hilarious. I cannot wait for the footage for both of them. Mm. Like that, but especially the car one. I'm so excited <laughs> to see it. And it, I was all it was always going to be one of those things. The exact same as when I did the flip and the wires and went in the car. I hopped out afterwards, and I was like, "Fuck, that was fun." And I was and I was fuming. <laughs> because I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking, <laughs> bedwetters. She put the crew 
through that much turmoil. I did not. Don't even put me you in that did not category. shut the fuck up the whole shut time. Shut up. I was so fine. Oh, uh, we were Lou, laughing and having Lou, a good time. I was not. Miss me with that shit. I was not being you, dramatic. Okay, Lou, Lou, you went off somewhere and then came back and you were like, I was like, she's going to I went she's to get gonna, my helmet because safety first, chief. <laughs> and I was like, she's not going to do it. Dude, you, of course I was going to hey, do it. Dude, it's okay. You, no, because you're painting me like a sassy little cunt. You, no, no, no. You weren't sassy. You were a little bitch. You were a pussy. That's you weren't sassy. Very rude. You were a pussy. How would you feel if I put you in a bath of paper forks? Hey, hey, pa- wooden forks champion. Yeah, I'd hate who, it. Yeah, who'd be a little bitch then? I'd hate it so you. much. You but I, guess what I do? Show. I'd nut up and I'd get through uh, it. And, and what did LDD do? You want to tell the bib widows what I did? Yeah, you did what you had to do. I nutted up and did it. Yeah, shock so horror. So shut, but shut you know that what, chinless face of yours. You know, don't get personal. You know what I wouldn't do? I wouldn't squeal about it for three hours prior saying the same Excuse thing. Excuse me. Let me finish one point, Louisa. Saying the exact same ah. thing to the whole crew, being like, no, guys, like, I'm actually, no, it's not like, but I'm, and we're like, we, we know, Lou, you're going to be fine. No, but you don't get it. I'm actually terrified. I'm like, yep, Lou, we know, you're all good. No, but guys, can you not go fast? Like, seriously, mate, don't go fast. I'm like, Lou. I reckon I said it to him four times. You're hamming it up for the pod. You're hamming it down for your own personal feelings. He's hamming it up, guys. <laughs> and not Christmas ham. <laughs> Let me tell you. But I was very proud of you. But you're also a pussy. Can't you just admit how much of a I'm pussy you were? I'm not listening to a doth of word coming out of your mouth after you've been so cruel to me. How was I cruel? You called me a pussy and a little bitch. You were. I was not. I did it. Correct, but leading up, you were a fucking pussy. People are allowed to be scared and have feelings, you unempathetic pig. Correct, dude. But you're also allowed to admit that. If I was being a little bitch, I would did admit it. Did you not it. hear me before the argument? I said it was what happened as I did. I was sad before both things, scared, and then I did it. We're you not said, doing another 16-minute argument. You said silence. you might have said it four times. Let's Louisa, you silence. said it four times within the first silence. three minutes. We were... We're not arguing for another 16 minutes. We'll get a few DMs saying mummy and daddy were fighting for 16 minutes of the podcast. Take a moment to breathe. <sighs> fucking winch and pussy, fucking bitch. Fuck. Oh, I was just about to say, <laughs> I was just about to say, I'm so sorry for raising my voice at I'm you. I'm so sorry for raising my voice at you. You can't take my apology. I, hey, I'm very sorry for the way that I treated you just then. I'm sorry that I spoke the truth, but in a harsh tone and manner. <laughs> I'm sorry for telling you to shut your chinless face. <laughs> yeah, you got personal. I was trying to be more factual. You then started attacking me personally. I'm so sorry. You also attacked my biceps outside before this. I did say they were looking very small. You said I had little bitch biceps. I'm so sorry. You've been coming at me. I'm so sorry. So maybe my response was retaliatory. Maybe I've held on to that. Mm-hmm. This is a therapy session. You're a grudge holder. I, I'm a grolder. Mm-hmm. I'm a Dave grolder. So it's very good. Thank you. I lift weights, <laughs> but obviously not enough. Not enough. That'd be impressive. Yeah. At least I know how to pick up chicks. You gonna do some Lulu go surfing? <laughs> uh, what's that, Neil? Why? <laughs> I just got up to your calm, calming photos on Google. <laughs> <laughs> Thought it might help de-escalate the situation. <laughs> this is genius. I literally oh, just looked up. I was like, "What well, the fuck are their rock formations on Google Images?" <laughs> you are a very oh. clever little prince. You're a clever little senorita, aren't you? Uh, aren't you? Aren't you very clever? Oh, you're a very angry little senorita this morning, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Aren't we? Okay. Aren't we? Silence. <laughs> Doth it silence in the newsroom? Do the good surfing on Google Chrome. On Google Chrome. Dramatic video shows woman running onto the tarmac to catch her flight in Australia. Sorry? <laughs> Have you seen? Are you fucking fair, Eagle? A woman in camera. <laughs> No, she didn't. Ran onto the tarmac, make her way past security before running out towards the Qantas flight due to depart for Adelaide. How'd she get out there? I don't know, but dedication to the flight. What a fucking dickhead. She she was charged with two counts of damaging property, one count of entering a security zone without permission, and one count of (laughs) possessing a small quantity of cannabis. Okie doke. All right. I I mean... (laughs) 
good on her for no. for really trying to get that fly. It's dedication, but I mean, what a fuckhead because she, then she'd ruin it. See, that's the sort of fucking. She got when, hit. What? She got if the ta- plane had taken off and she got hit on the tarmac. That'd be natural selection at its finest. No, that. Yes, it would be. That would be natural selection. Well, it says, due to the woman's inconsiderate act, all flights ended up being delayed for 10 minutes. See what I mean? Not 10 minutes. 10 minutes. The operations <laughs> returned to normal afterwards. That's what I, that was more my thought. Her selfishness, she's happy to fuck up everyone else because apparently she needs to get from where? Where was she going? Canberra to Adelaide. So what is so pressing in Adelaide? I don't know, but I would love to know. Well, she wanted to go church, church looking at in. What? So, a lot of nice churches in Adelaide, apparently. Apparently, or it's a beautiful maybe place. a winery. There are wineries down there. Apparently, it's beautiful. Never been to Adelaide. He- hearing Neither. a lot of good things. They want to actually fly me there in the next four to six weeks if you'd like to come. To, for what? It's a brand. Really? Yeah. Get branded. No, but oh. Perhaps that's something <laughs> more like Radelaide, am I? <laughs> so yeah, no, nah, that fucks me off. It's, it's, She's annoyed me now. It's crazy. Yep. That was like, did you see? And this might have been like a couple of years ago now, but I remember this news story where an old woman was like boarding a flight, and I don't think she had flown much in her life. And as some sort of good luck charm, she chucked a bunch of coins into the one of the like wing engines before she got on the flight. Sorry. She's like, it was. It's good luck for me to chuck coins into the engine of the plane. Fuck <laughs> some people, mate, are just dickheads. That would cause a plane to go down. Well, probably fucking throw a metal all through its engine. <laughs> this is hilarious. Um, <laughs> yeah, the the plane was delayed for more than five hours oh. after she attempted to throw a handful of coins into its engine for should, good luck. Imagine should, if no one saw it ex- and it just took off. Oh man, well, it's like. Birds get stuck in the. Um, Isn't that a wig out? Motors? That like a bird can fuck a whole engine and just go. <laughs> See that wigs me out. Yeah, that's a bit scary because that could happen quite easily. It, it, that's what I. That's what I. Taking think. off and there's a bloody fucking se- albatross flock of seagulls or bloody skunk. skunk. You say skunk, but albatross. Oh. Albatross. Okay. All right. Okay. Everything's fine. What? Well, keep going. Or an eagle. Damn, yeah, good girl. She knows or a couple. A fantail. Of birds. <laughs> Not the head of all kind. <laughs> The lollies, Dior. The fantail lollies. Yeah, I'm aware of what the fantails are. Uh, yeah. Jesus Christ, woman. It we, like we all get We understand. <laughs> it looked like Dior was confused. No. I didn't know fantail was a bird. Is that a bird? In New Zealand it is. It is. Is that like a, a, it's mo- a, small, a mower? T- it's a small, tiny one with a little tuft. I'm assuming it's got like a, a tail that looks kind of like a fan. A fan. Just like the wedge tail eagle. Yes. It doth does. Doth us. You're very clever, aren't you? Correct. Next one. Motorcyclist taken to owl. Don't kick me. Motorcyclist take motor. <laughs> yep. Yep. Motorcyclist taken to hospital after tarantula crossing the road causes collision in California. What? He he. He avo- slammed, actively avoided the tarantula. Slammed on the brakes to. S- How would you even see? A tarantula. Yeah. Well, they're pretty big. And I mean, if it was an empty road. Braked and just abruptly to avoid killing the spider after seeing it crossing State Route 190 in the Death Valley National Park on Saturday. I'll give you the hot tip. I am not risking my life for a fucking tarantula. No, uh, like a wombat, yes. Well, you because you don't want to hit a wombat though, but you go straight over tarantula. You know what but I mean? I do also, I don't think my eyesight's good enough to notice a little creepy crawly. They're pretty big. But you would notice it. Like, it, it just depends where it is, what time of day it is, you know what I mean, what colour it is, where it was on the road. It's wild that they would break and fully... So he fucked himself up. Yeah, they had to go to hospital. Jesus Christ. It feels, <clears throat> it feels like you should have just kept going. You just... I'm are, not stopping. are they like native? I'm not stopping for insects, put it that way. You're not stopping if you see an ant. You can't see it <laughs> from a car. <laughs> <clears throat> Next one. Yeah. 
restaurant charges extra forty pounds to adults unable to parent their children. Jesus Christ! Imagine so you got well, some little you, eight-year-old Lou running around, and the, the how do you monitor that? They that's go, what I mean. That's an annoying little fucker. Your your bill's got an extra forty pounds. You couldn't surely you can't fucking like. It's called adult surcharge. But surely that's subjective. Like, I get it. If there are fucking little kids running around fucking being annoying, you're like, oh, sh- parent your fucking children. But then again, yes. what if the restaurant owner is in a bad mood and the ki- little kid's just like, I love you, mum. And he's like, fuck it, fuck that kid, 40 pounds. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And also, let kids be kids. You'd prefer them nah, to... to an no, extent. No, no, you'd prefer them to be running around having fun outside and up trees and things well, rather than on their iPods, the iPads all the time. I completely agree. I but always, in the restaurant, though, yes, like, miss true. me with it. And also, you and I, we've said this before, we always say, you know, oh, just go outside and play on a, you know, play on a tree or throw the ball around. As soon as we have our own children, separately, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is this a, like, what the fuck is going on here? We would, we would probably just pass them an iPad at the dinner table. If it's, it's really fuck, hypocrite. It's really world. fucking me off. It's iPad time. Yeah. If you if you're gonna keep yelling and screaming, here's your iPad champion. I'll get the kid like those Google glasses where you just put it on his face and just sit like this. Just with content screaming into its eyeballs. Like the VR we went to. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'd get a, a VR headset. I'd let it live a completely different life. Yeah. In VR. <laughs> and I wouldn't take its VR headset off till it was twenty. So it's never seen the real No, world. that feels <laughs> Okay. Very wrong. Yeah, okay. Very wrong. Right, right. I, I would backtrack on that one. If I was you, Jack, I would arch down. And lose a cloud, I don't know, Will. Thank you. In Mexico, modern art is for dogs too, as exhibition opens. So there's now an exhibition where you can visit the art pieces with your human and your fairy friend. Oh, that's kind of cool. I know, so I could take, look, there's Toby. There's Toby looking at the artwork. Oh, yeah, that's fun. But Isn't modern, a lot of modern art is fucking shit. We're not going down this path again. You've oh, done no, your theory it, on how art is shit. It, but fuck, I've seen a lot of it lately and it's pissing me off. When, there was since some, when have you gone to a bloody on, art no, museum? No, no, no. I was like, hang on, champion, let's backtrack. When the fuck are you going to <laughs> look at some artwork? So cute. Um, well, you're not very cultured. Instagram. Oh, oh, right, okay, that is very I'm cute. seeing this shit on Instagram. I'm not going to fucking art museums. Yeah. But I do love art museums, but like Renaissance art, shit like that. Old art, you know what I mean? Yeah. I studied art at school. I like art. But but good Interesting art. Interesting from a dipshit, but... Sorry? Carry on. <laughs> Sorry? G'day pot, kettle. It's so fucking nice to meet you. Just a couple of dipshits. It was a slip of the tongue. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, bloody fucking... What was I saying? Yeah, what, what did I say the other day? Yes, tell us more about your favourite piece there of art. There was like an old man like sitting on a bucket. And it was an installation piece, and it was like actually, sitting, I feel like I did see that on Instagram. He's like shitting in it or something. It's something. Yeah, that and it was, was like, very. And edge. people are like, they're all standing around him, like going, oh, "This guy is a genius," and I'm like, "He is a fucking mentalist. That is insanity. How is this art? It probably sold for like two hundred million. He's just living in someone's mansion, sitting on a shitting in a bucket, yeah. <laughs> forever. Doth, oh, actually. That was meant to be the last one, but yeah, okay. someone just sent me a message, um, of which I haven't read. So this Jill or Franco? It wasn't Jill or Franco. Oh, someone sent me a, a TikTok of yeah. another news article. So we're going to watch it. Well, I'm going to have a look at it. Okay. Claude the koala who gained international headlines over his eating habits is back. You know that cute little fucker who was stealing things from the Adelaide... Um, Nursery was he of gardens? Remember I showed you him, <coughs> and he was stealing. No, well, it looks I don't like think he's he back did. again. The little thief. He's now doing it at night time. Oh, he's a little burglar. He's been stealing again. The koala burglar. Yeah. So he's got a bit of grunt to him. This koala. He's so cute. Because they're lazy little fucks. Aren't well, they? not not all of them. Pretty. Not my Kevin. He's very. He's dedicated. a goer, is he? Go hard, Kevin. Judge. He's very dedicated to life. Yeah. Didn't know he didn't name you life. <laughs> I'm happy with it. I'm cool with it. I'm happy with it. Last night, I've actually put on my Instagram story. I must have thrown him onto, onto my bed. And he just like, his arms were just like, he's just like flying. 
Nearly 30. <laughs> like, flail. Like, just like, he was just 30, like, flopped like, <laughs> he was just like, flopped like this, I like, guess, if he was like so hungover or like stoned. You do like taxes and shit. You know that. I'm like allowed you work to laugh stuff. at I know, I know. a stuffed toy being oh, correct. Yeah. stoned. Yeah. Nearly 30. Like, he literally looked like. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Crazy kid. <laughs> How long have we been going for, Dior? It feels doth of time to end. About yeah. 35 minutes. Because that story was a dis snore. I'm happy with it. That story was a. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fuck it. I'm not doing it today. <laughs> Give me some characters. Yeah, if, oh, yeah, you it's want some characters? A, yeah, and then we'll hit the hotline. Um, well, it'll be called the, the cold line if you're involved. Well, it's not your, it's not your best. But you're okay with Before it? Before we do the characters. No. Nah. Can we just talk about. How I brutally attacked a woman in the sauna yesterday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck me dead. Charge and I went to oh, SFS and in the sauna and Jess, who's a Jess Sydney Jess. Roosters. She plays. Yeah. Sydney Roosters player, also plays for. NRL uh, W player, so plays for the Chooks, plays for sta- plays in State of Origin, yeah, plays for Australia. Australia yeah. right? She's an yeah. absolute fucking rooster. And she's a legend as well. Sick. Huh? She's so funny. Yeah. She is. So we were standing in there and she's telling us how she's got to get surgery on, on her, her foot. On her foot. And so we're, I was looking and I was like, oh, you got to get, you know, your toe cut off. And we're talking about that or whatever. And then she starts showing Jart. She's got a. We're going through our war wounds. Yes. Because she's, she's talked about, she's like, I had surgery in my hand. I've got a plate in my hand. I'm like, oh, this one doesn't straighten. I've got seven pins. And we're sort of going. And then I j- piped in about how I cut my finger with um, <laughs> I'm going like, I've knife. got two pins here, I've got two in there. I'm like, I've got seven in here and I've fucking chopped off this finger. I'm like, we're just going through our wall wounds and Lou goes, yeah, the other day I actually um, cut my knife opening a tequila bottle and I had to go to hospital. We go, yeah, yeah. How'd that turn out? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> back to the big guys. Yeah, we sort of just looked at Lou and we're like, anyway. yeah, so sorry about her. It was like the little, like, Annoying kid that pipes in with shit. And we're like, just maybe darling, or like the your your child. Yeah. We're like, Shh, maybe darling, Nearly maybe done. you go and play in the corner. There's little toys in the corner. Isn't there? done we're, now. we're done here. Five more minutes, darling. Then we'll get you home. For some but then breaks. you. <laughs> so she's it talking. Right she's back. talking about the plate, the plate and stuff in her hand. I go, yeah, true. So I grab her hand to feel the plate, and she goes, oh, and I go, what the fuck? And she'd only had it done like four or five weeks ago. So it was still, and I'd squeeze the fucking. She nearly punched Jarch she, honestly, in the face. She goes, dude, I nearly fucking whacked you in the fucking face. And I'm like, I, I actually still feel sick about it. It was amazing. You were actually fully wigging. She like popped her head out after we left the sauna and was like, make sure he doesn't like wig. It's so fine. I, 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 like, it, I couldn't it help it. It so wig. funny. Because it was, I, she was like so shocked. But I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm mm. so sorry. But I just assumed it was. That's, that's why you never assume, man. 2023, never don't assume. assume, bro. If you can take one thing away from this podcast, never assume. Yeah, and maybe don't brutally attack women in saunas. Don't touch people in the sauna. Yeah, yeah. That's probably you know just what? That's one. the number one rule. Just stop touching. Let's not touch people in the sauna. Let's not. <laughs> when you're in a sauna, refrain from touching others. Just please, don't just leave hands. That's my number one rule now. Make, look, makes the saunas a lot less fun, but no touching in saunas. <laughs> Josh. Damn. All right, give it to me. Well, easy. This is a podcast with you, with, with, you know. It's a, this is a highbrow podcast, How Louise. Dare you. It's disgusting. All right, do a characters jingle. Give me a C H A R A C T E R impressions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it was a very brave one. I know. As soon as I started that, I thought, shit, shit. Very this could go <laughs> south very quick. Very brave. Very brave. Okay. <coughs> Perfect. Okay. This will get us a breakfast radio show with that. Yeah, correct. Um, okay, you ready, sister? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. You're a lady who won't stop annoying the builder because she thinks she knows more than him. Oh, I feel this in my bones. Jim, come down here for a moment, please. Um, look, now I know that you've been doing the, the, the hammering over there in the corner and you're, you're putting in the new bath for me. Now, look, could I just suggest a quick 180 turn of the bath? I think it would just sit better there. And look, I, I think you've got to work work h- harder, not faster. It just feels you, 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 your momentum is, is slipping away, Jim. Not a saying. Smarter, not harder. <laughs> 
It felt very Karen. <laughs> it was. It wasn't bad. You know those annoying fucks. Like I had a mate who was he was building, and he's like, I just had this cocksucker that just ghosted me. He was just with me all the time, oh, just yeah. watching him. And he goes, "Do you think you should be doing that?" And he's like, "Hey, hey dickhead, my job. You're you're a, you're in finance. You live in the eastern suburbs. I, I'm a builder. Mm. I've probably got more of an idea of what's going on here than what you fucking do." It's like you on the other microphone to me. Wait, wait, what do you mean? Well, you know, you're just constantly there. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to be so mean. <laughs> That's, fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'll just go fuck myself. Uh, now, I want you to do two of these. Okay. You're a rugby league player. And you're giving the speech post-game. One for a win, one for a loss. Okay. <clears throat> what are you doing first? The win. Okay. Yeah, it was just like, I don't know, the boys and I just kind of like came together and it was sort of like, fuck, oh shit, sorry, can't swear. Oh shit, um, sorry. Oh yeah, and it was just like, you know, like I passed it to the left and then it was just sort of like all like a blur, but it like, I don't know, we'd been like prepping pretty well, so it was like, it just... I don't know, I feel like we, we sort of just like came together as like one and it was just like a, yeah, it was, it was honestly like incredible to, 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 be, to be completely honest. Th- thanks, mate. You, you, you too. Have a good day. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That'll do the loss. <sighs> just, um, yeah, it's, um, it's um, heartbreaking for us, Bruce. <laughs> I, um, I thought that the lads and I would, Probably get this one. The, the boys and I have, um, <laughs> boys and I have been flat, flat, flat out this week. And we, you know, they're a good team though. It's um, it's always hard to beat the 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 roosters. You know, the ch- champs. So it's what it is. But um, you know, next week's another another week. And um, yeah, just um, just happy to be out here. You know, playing and. And and supporting the the, the game. Yeah, th- thanks, mate. Thanks. <laughs> hands on the hips. <laughs> to your point of view, guys, look at her hands. I saw your hands on your hips. As a fucking fuck, that made me laugh. That was good. <laughs> they were good. I like them. Thank you. All right. It's because I like my athletes and shit. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old okay. friend. <laughs> You're a Jamaican tourist. <laughs> I can't wait for this one. You're a Jamaican tourist that's just been bitten by a deadly snake. In Australia, sorry. You're, tr- you're Australia, tour- you're touring. You're Jamaican and you've just been whacked by a fucking Eastern Brown. Oh, shit, man. Get out of the, get out. There's a, there's a snake about to bite me, man. You've been bit by it. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, fuck, fuck, man. That's fucking so <laughs> Wait, is he Jamaican or Irish? He comes from both heritages. No, he doesn't. He's, he's solo Jamaican. You've just been bitten by a snake. Proceed. Ah, oh, man, that fucking hot. hot. <laughs> it's got more Irish. <laughs> Somehow we've got more Irish. All right, you need to get to the hospital. You're calling, you're calling emergency services. 911. It, it's um, Australia. One one one. Oh. Zero zero zero. There we go. Jeez, I'm I've worried. never had to call the fine end. I mean the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Sorry, my brain's just on finance, bros. Yeah, correct. I'm not to call the um, Go. Yep. Call next triple. one. No, no, call triple zero. <gasps> zero zero zero. Oh fuck it. <laughs> next one, Judge. It's, I'm rusty. That was a tough lesson. It's been a while. <coughs> it would have been a solid eight eps oh. since we had some Kezas. Oh, that's a tough lesson. It's though. short for characters. That's good. You, you've just filed for divorce. And it's your first night out on the town with the girls. You attempt to accept your status as a cougar and pick up a younger man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see what game you got. Mama. Your mama, by the way. <laughs> Hi, boys. <laughs> you even gave me a little shoulder shake before you said hi, boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was fucked. 
All right, I want to see how this plays out. Hold on. You went like this. Hi, boys. <laughs> all right, okay. All right, all right, all right. Shh, shh, shh. Okay. Yeah, get your sassy cougar. Cougar, cougar on. Hi, boys. What are we drinking? Okay, rum and cokes. Not much of a rum and coke um, woman myself, but um, <laughs> how about a how about a round of um, Belvedere vodka shots on me? Yeah, you like that? <laughs> Let's get into it. Oh, you like that? <laughs> yeah, that felt very uncomfortable. Yeah. You like that? Let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was like a formal, like, sexual seminar. <laughs> yeah? You like that? Let's well, let's get, get into it. To it. You got a little clicker and a PowerPoint? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Get on the hotline. Let's see what we got here. Um, let's go this one. Hello, senoritas. I love you guys so much. I'm currently at home, like, cleaning my house. Listening to the potty, of course, of course. And Lulu, I have the phone up to my ear, off speakerphone, and this will be under four to five seconds, hopefully. It does. Um, sound good. But yeah, I love you guys. Have the best day. And if you want to give me a call, um, please, because I actually will cry. I might be the first bedwetter that you call that will like bore her eyes out. Um, yeah. Okay. Love you. Bye. God, I can't you, not. You call just her. looked at me like. Well, I can't not call. What? Well, who's pranking today? Mate. Me. What are you going to do? What should I do? Um. Should I do something where it's like... Um, do the birthday. Do you've got a birthday cake delivery? Well... Doesn't matter if it's not her birthday. She could be a, mu- a mix-up. This is the only thing. She called four minutes ago. Oh, no. We can't be doing that. She'll know. Save it to the end. Save it to the end. Okay, yes, yeah, smart. Oh, so someone isn't on their prep. Yeah, I have. Oh, sorry, I started the wrong one. <laughs> Whoever that was, they were calling from a sub my fucking ring. <laughs> Great positioning of the word fucking. Really powerful <laughs> stuff there, bud. That was a perla. A sub my fucking rain. <laughs> that fucking hit me right where it needed to. I'm very was, clever, aren't I? You're very clever, aren't you? Mm. Okay, let's see what this, this fucker has. Hey, fellas. Um, I've got a pretty sad story to tell you, actually. Um, if you don't want to, if you don't want to have a little cry on the podcast, probably don't. Don't put this on, but. Um, so on the weekend, I found out. Uh, so my 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 dad's um, uh, he's he's uh, um, so where to where to start is you um um yeah <laughs> mate look. look. <laughs> That Man. was so good. Oh no, it's I'm fucking sorry. devastating. I'm so sorry, mate. I'm sorry to hear. It's just Especially we get it, mate. Like we send our condolences. Yeah, because just with thank you for the detail and it was very detailed. That was very raw. Of also, fun. thanks for opening up to us. We appreciate it. Appreciate it, mum. Hey, props out to your brosco. Hey, doth prop. Doth prop it up, bitch. And like, let's all get. To, let's find out. Get. Let's. We'll send you an out of thing. We'll get. We'll sit, make sure that we get you, me, and Lou, have, yeah. and Dior. Get we. We'll get. if if you want anything, anything. Okay, next caller. Hey, was Tad here. Got a quick question for you. I was just going on TikTok. A video of Louisa Cled and then Big Dog LDD oh, came sh- up. Oh shit! And she's drinking um, shock horror. But in the background, <laughs> one Bowden. B- Bowden Barrett is there. I'm wondering how Louise and those Bowden Barrett. Anyways, who keep pissing? Have I told you this? Do you want to explain yourself? Do you want to explain yourself? Should I Dotheth go forth with Is this going to bode well for you? Yes. Okay. So I had one of my best friend Arabella's 30th in the weekend. Yep. And our other friend Hannah 
is married to Bowden Barrett. Okay. So he was at the 30th. Yeah. I'm trying to do a beautiful, heartfelt speech. And, and back in New Zealand, Jarch, my nickname was Shuey. Yep. Because Shuey Louie. Shuey Louie. I doth yeah. love to drink from shoes. <clears throat> That's my party trick. Doth correct. So I'm trying to do this heartfelt speech being like, Arabella, like we've been, you know, like best friends since, you know, 18. Rah, rah, rah. And there's about 40 people standing around. Everyone's just going, Shuey, Shuey, <laughs> Shuey. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. The guy next to me takes his Louis Vuitton sneaker off. Okay. And I pour a pals into it and... Down the hatch, and then the camera pans, and Bodie's just like clapping, just clapping in the crowd. What would a Louis Vuitton sneaker set you back? 1.5k. No, it wouldn't. I reckon. It wasn't my sneaker. I understand that, but you still do rock Gucci sneakers and shit. At $1,500 fucking dollars. You wear them a lot. Nah. Lose I'm, unders. Sorry, I can't justify that. Oh, I'm under. They're more expensive. No, no is she unders? They yeah. might be one eight. What oh, other deal? Come up. Oh, it's yeah, well, like one nine, one eight. There you go. I'll oh, be fucked. That is well, it was really beautiful taste for the shoey. Yeah. <laughs> oh my days. Yeah, one thousand nine hundred ninety. They look like sketches, bro. That blows my. Some fu- people just twenty two hundred dollars. Yeah. It was similar to that white one. You know that's fucked. That's what I mean. Like that's where fashion is genius because. You, you can market to fucking idiots everywhere. Oh, excuse me. You Coming can. from the man wearing a T-shirt that says, how to pick up chicks. Yeah, and guess what? This would have been, what, $12? And it's one of the coolest shirts of all time? Is it? Well, t- it, three out of four it? of us, three out of four of us think it is. I feel like that's a bit rigged. It may be, because we aren't exactly fashion forward. Uh-huh. But I mean, that $2,200 sneaker looks no different mm. than a Nike sneaker. Yeah. You know that video, like I didn't post it or anything. My friend Kate, who's got like 40 followers, posted it. And I, now it's got like 200,000 views. Perfect. Shoo-wee, shoo-wee. Literally, me trying to do this heart for shoo-wee. And I was like, oh, fuck it. Fuck, fuck it. Fuck the speech, y'all. Hey, language. Okay. So, so. No, it's fine. It's just, it's very, so it, no, it's hyper aggressive. Yeah, I'm so, so sorry. Right. Now, let's see what we got here. Ah! Listen up, senoritas. I'm just sitting in the car park about to go and pick up my Guzmans. Love Guzmans. But I just want to say I fucking love the fucking breakfast radio joke. I don't know what it is. I just never expect it. And then when I hear it, I fucking cack it. It is the best. Anyway, thanks for being sick, cunts. <laughs> Bubble. Bubble. I'm not quite sure what he's referencing. The breakfast. What was that? What is that joke? I don't know. Does he think it's funny that I used used to work there? What in what? B- breakfast radio. You worked in bre- break breakfast radio. So you're yeah. telling me when people would break their fast from sleeping overnight, you would work on some sort of a platform that produces audio, like a sonically. Uh, the frequency, a, a radio frequency waves. Ra- ra- radio waves. That yeah, that's what I did. Jake. Yeah, you would work in that. Yes, Jake. Laura, that is news to me. So, congrats. How long for? Oh, look. Ever since I left university, I was always in breakfast radio. Right. So, I would say that would be close to 12 years now. 12? 12 years. 12 years. Yeah. I bet you could buy yourself plenty of Louis Vuitton sneakers in that sort of bloody world. <laughs> bloody good money in breakfast. <laughs> well, well only Laura. if you're talent, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> Not if you're a little bitch well, behind the scenes. You learn something new every <laughs> fucking day, <laughs> you don't you? Do. Sure. Dotheth, Dotheth. You <clears throat> now give me one more. Well, I don't think we prank old mate. I think we just call her back. Okay. You know what I mean. And uh, next step, I'll do a prank. Okay. That feels right. Yeah. And then we'll call it a day. And then we'll call it a. Hello. Oh shit! Can I'm not playing leave? it. I'm calling it. Fucking hell. You are so silly. Now you are so silly. I always am like, fuck! I should put my phone on private for this, but I cannot Too be lazy. fucked. Okay. You know what's going to happen? You're going to get all these bloody texts. Nah, people are pretty good. Hello? Uh, Rui, we, we're seeing something with you the other day. Oh, he was talking to you. Is this who uh, we got? Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I, was, I was talking to you. Who oh, we got? Nah. nah. It's not good. Not Stop, good. you guys. No, I'm actually going to fucking cry. <laughs> well, how the fuck are we supposed no. to not call you back? <laughs> no, you oh can't cry. God. I swear to God, I love you guys so much. 
<laughs> we were going to oh prank God, phone call so you. Embarrassing. We we're going to oh prank phone God. call you, but then we thought I'd, too I'd probably be too good at it. Yeah, we were thinking. You wouldn't be able to tell. Stop. What are oh you doing? My God. I'm just literally just fucking pottering around the house doing fuck all, basically. And I was just like listening to an old episode and I'm like, wait. And I saw you guys on Instagram that like you were recording the potty and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to ring up. And we got so you. Oh, my God. I'm glad I'm you so did, sorry. mate. We are. Um, yeah, March, oh my god! We were gonna bloody um, we, yeah, we were gonna prank you, but I'm like, you literally called like fucking 13 minutes ago. Yeah. I'm like, it's fairly obvious. And said she'd cry, so yeah, I just wanted to hear the tears. Yeah, correct. happy tears, happy tears, of course. Oh, thanks. Hey, I hope your house is sparkly is clean. Is it nice Absolutely and clean better. now? Isn't it, little senorita? Sure. Very clean, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, very I'm clever. Clean, aren't you? And oh yeah. I'm glad you can just pot around and do two fifths of fuck all like me and Lou do. So uh, that's well, literally, like kind of what we're doing. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, you guys. Oh well, we love you and thank you so much for listening. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Senorita. Now you be a good Senorita, won't you? Sure. You have a great day. I will. You Ciao. too. See you, Senorita. Bye. Bye. She's a good senior. She's a very uh, clever girl. Uh, what? Hold on. What's clever going? girl? That's not what I said. Yeah, but it just reminds me of Jurassic Park. Clever girl. Then he gets eaten, whereas I'd kill him. Uh, now listen up. Classic. Love the lot of you. Love you guys. You're all mad mongrel mm-hmm. dogs. Mm-hmm. And we love you. Please be safe and give everyone a kind word today. Say something nice to everyone in the street. Please. You start. Dior. Dior, your beard looks gorgeous. You Thank say bed you, or beard? Beard. It sounds like you're dragging out the word bed. I'm not trying to get into yours, beard. Oh, beard. 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 And Dior? Yeah. You've also got a you've got a a powerful shaft. Oh, thank you, Josh. And I know you would know more than anyone. Correct. Yes. Josh, the, you have a uh, very giving shaft, I would say. That, not powerful, but, that, you know, that, stamina. It's that, it's about sta- the stamina. God, stamina wise. Are, yeah. Isn't this a beautiful workplace? It yeah. is. <laughs> it's just weird. It's just gorgeous. Mm. Tobs, you have a – look, if we're talking shaft-wise, your shaft is tremendously smooth uh, and quite terrific. Mm. If we're being honest. And Lou, I would say while oh, all of oh, our... Oh, well, oh, be oh. careful. It's, um... <laughs> yep. it's all, of, all of our shafts may be great, but none of them even combined compared to the power and the might of yours. Well, it's a, she's gifted. Yes. As we know from the t-shirt she's wearing, sh- she's gifted. Shaft a bum or a penis? A fucking cock. <laughs> that, you know what? Also a great question because a do it could be confused with like a mine shaft. And let's not end on well, this. Perhaps cut this Putting a deal. shaft in a shaft. Shush. Shaft squared. Shush. Okay. <laughs> hey. Right, this right we're going to shaft. Very I mean, lowbrow. We're going to. Chow, chow. And say something kind to everyone. Not about. Hopefully related to shafts. No. no. Good night. And chow, chow. Hooray. Good morning. All right. Shaft. <laughs>